an industrial solvent that contaminates a south side groundwater source and some of the city's wells. Teresa Jones tonight looks at the TCE clinic at one year. Yo paso noches en que mejor quiero morir. Maria Cordova says there are nights she would rather die because the pain of her arthritis is so severe. She says it's the love of her two children that keep her going, but nothing takes away the anger. Before 79, I was a very healthy person. Oh. And, and no one in my family has arthritis. No one. Maria Cordova and the Southside residents are all patients at the TCE clinic. It is their ills that will help researchers answer the question, did exposure to TCE contaminated water affect my health? Like Maria, these patients say they know the answer, an emphatic yes. I feel that my lupus is somehow related to a TCE thing. And uh, I said, I should go and have myself checked up. In my family, no one has had the problem that I have. I have to find lupus also. Maria Payanes says she's the only one in her family with lupus. My father, you have cancer. They took a tumor. And I have three tumors. Enrique Enrique says his father developed cancer, and now he's had three tumors removed. No pueden relacionar porque ese es una clase de tumores. Yo tengo cuatro tumores. Gloria Pulliam says her doctor discovered she has four brain tumors. I've developed multiple sclerosis, and my children have had health problems. My husband has had various health problems. Um, there's not a real clear-cut link in some cases because he has had cancer and we don't know what exactly triggered it. But my daughters have have skin problems. My son is, one of my sons has had asthma. And um, another daughter has a lump in her neck that just will not go away. We have been able to prove beyond any doubt that there is a correlation or a connection between the toxicity of the substance and those diseases. Dr. Dimitri Katsaro says there are some very specific ailments that can be pinpointed to exposure to the industrial solvent TCE. Approximately 45 to 50 percent of the people who pass through this clinic, uh, they do show some uh, findings compatible with uh, TCE in uh, toxicity such as uh, most of the people complain of severe arthritis, as we call arthralgia, pain in the joints. Uh, some uh, uh, were found to have this uh, so-called lupus erythematosus, which is a special disease. Um, uh, sort of, a, uh, we call this an autoimmune disease. The body defeats itself or self-destructs. Uh, and uh, it has been seen extensively with people exposed to this uh, toxic substance. Dolores Flores says she is angry at how this could happen. She says Southsiders were dumped on. But more so, she's angry at how lupus has forever changed her life. I love to work and earn a living. And when this happened to me, I couldn't work for like three to six years. I was on disability. And then with therapy and going back to school, I was able to get this job, which is not very heavy. So I'm able to do that. Yeah, so it completely affected your life. Yeah, because I used to do, um, you know, worked in hospitals as a nursing assistant and a PN. Mm -hmm. And then I just couldn't do it anymore, and I used to like that work a lot. These patients, none of whom qualify for access, are grateful for the clinic. Here, they can get their health care on a sliding fee scale. If they have no money, they get seen for free. The group also expressed fears that their children's health might be affected. As you probably know, uh, this uh, TC substance uh, was present between 1940 and 1981. After that, uh, the... Um, 
the United States Army here, uh, United States Air Force here at Davis Mountain cleaned up the environment around the area and also the Hughes factory, etc. So I doubt if we're going to find any uh, toxicity to the children. Dr. Gazzaro says the data accumulated at the clinic will eventually be published for the benefit of the community. However, full participation is required for a thorough study, so a direct appeal is made to the public. If they have been exposed to the southwest area, or they have worked at the Hughes uh, uh, factory uh, between the years 1940 and 1981, uh, and they do have some kind of a problem, it would be it behooves them to come and be checked in our clinic. The TCE clinic is located at 101 West Irvington Road, near the southwest corner of South 6th Avenue in El Pueblo Neighborhood Center Complex. For more information, call 573-0096. As a way to thank the community and encourage others to visit the TCE clinic, the clinic will be hosting a first anniversary party this Thursday. Everyone's invited.